Welcome back to the Eric Crown Crypto Channel. Wishing you a happy and start to this nice hump day. A nice hump day for some FOMC action. Get humped by Mr. Jerome Powell. It's going to be really, really nice. Some wick action in each and every direction that you can possibly imagine. And then we even got some more economic events later this week with earnings reports. And then, of course, GDP numbers coming out, I believe, on Friday. So with that in mind, I wanted to follow up on the short-term time frame analysis first and then focus on the higher-term time frames. And let's just uh, jump into it right now, waste no more time. Although I should probably let you know about Instagram. I've been posting a lot of short-form updates there on the stories feature there will be a link in the description below if you happen to give a fuck basically all right cool so this is where we kind of left off from yesterday bitcoin trying a bit of a short-term sideways and bit of a bounce attempt off that 618 fibonacci retracement as we did say was likely yesterday again nothing super magical about that but ultimately i do think that things kind of hang around these regions you know again more or less sideways within a short-term range until we get to uh, today's event la uh, later now the expectation i do believe is like on a rather large rake height rate hike so ultimately, while price action probably does, uh, you know, have a lot of, um, well, a lot of, a lot of wiki action bo in both directions, I actually am not looking at this as like a major uh, massive break attempt coming up right here. Um, I do still think that Bitcoin ultimately remains within the daily range, meaning that uh, not a, not like a humong humongous break above the highs or the lows in this case. In the short term, you know, short term price action anywhere between about 21.6 to 0.5 right here, which I'll mark off with a little bit of a blue box. There we go. And to the downside, same thing as yesterday, about 20 thousand eight hundred on a four hour closing basis on CME that is now with that in mind I wanted to bring up this uh, over here and then we'll actually swing back to the lower term time frames a little bit later so first and foremost on both the daily and the two day on CME yes indeed we did confirm hidden bearish divergence that was why we started to have a more short term medium term bearish bias towards downside price action over the past few days here that was confirmed actually back on our, on, on the 22nd so that was last week of course and uh, yeah you know this is you know slowly but surely playing out not just on the daily but also on the two day as well as you can see hidden bearish right here going all the way back to the highs from early June where Bitcoin was trading you know above 30,000 bucks actually so kind of significant right there as you can see but uh, within the context of this, I, I do want to point a few things out. First and foremost, daily BBWP. So volatility is actually contracting right here, or it looks like it's entering into a contraction phase. So while I, I do think that this move probably does try a little bit lower overall, I don't think that it's going to be a trending move to, towards like major massively new lows. We'll get towards targets later in a second, but I do want to also bring up that the daily jewel is also getting its first tick of dark blue right here. I think spot price action might have done the same thing. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. it definitely started <laughs> few days ago actually uh, back on over here on the break of about uh, 22.5 as well so you know I do like the confluences right there but yeah that does uh, imply that short term we probably do see another try to the downside um, perhaps upon today's event but I, personally speaking I, th I think it's probably going to end up being a wick uh, in this case we do see that daily stochastic momentum on CME is also nose diving here as well going to be losing the bear uh, sorry not the bearish but the bullish control zone uh, despite a heroic reclaim above the momentum pivot at 23,820 or so um, by end of day here. Uh, so that is also of significant. Uh, and of course, the 12 hour continues to head down as we identified yesterday, pretty much around the same pivoted region as well, 23,300 or so. So very, very close right there. Even the two day time frame, actually the two day is still up right there at 19,100. So fair enough, we will uh, we will, we will not focus on that one for the time being. But anyways, going back to the chart right and over here, um, the question is then, you know, where is the lower boundary of this? If I'm not necessarily looking for a trending move on the higher term time frames to new lows, where would I essentially be looking towards? Kind of the same thing is yesterday 786 Fibonacci retracement right here is also kind of around that last breakout that we did see in mid of July of this month at about low 20,000 that being about 20,100 on a closing basis for the medium and higher term time frames below there then I suppose at that point you know I do look for a move or, or perhaps another wick down to about 19,600 or so which I'll actually just make this blue box a nice and big one because it is it is relevant for the daily and the daily you know is naturally going to have a bigger range right here uh, ultimately what I think you're probably going to get today to be quite frank with you and this is just that this is not ta this is not trading this is just like bullshit um uh what's it called uh, uh crystal ball bullshit basically you know you might get, get a wick up like this you might get a wick down like that and then settle right back around here that's honestly what i think is you know maybe more or less likely to happen um you know i i still would flip around my bias at the same pivot as yesterday twenty two thousand five hundred, basically the breakdown level that we identified uh in the past few days uh, prior so as long as bitcoin's below there you know i do still generally look for bitcoin to try a little bit lower 
lower. Um, but just like, uh, you know, I wouldn't be switching my, around my biases right there. I don't think that Bitcoin's actually going to be trending towards majorly, massively new lows here. I'd actually be quite surprised if Bitcoin broke to new lows from this exact point. Um, the reason why I believe that is simply because of the higher term time frame momentum picture. We do see that weekly stochastic momentum is pointed up right now. Yeah, it's a weak drive, not to use a bad pun right there, but um, you know, within this region, you know, it's typically going to be a bouncy region long term. You can back to these yourself. I won't do it here because it's just going to bore the shit out of you because I've done this a million times already. But ultimately, you know, maybe one more retest of the lows, maybe even another couple of weeks of a swing around these lows. But yeah, I do think that Bitcoin uh, probably tries for a greater bounce, maybe later down the road, maybe in August, something like that. Um, of course, five days already going as well. That one's going to be closing, not tonight, but uh, actually not tomorrow either. So I won't even talk about it. So fair enough. And then of course, when we go back on over here, it should be known that on the weekly, as far as the jewel goes, we're getting something that we've actually never seen before. Now, uh, what we're getting is we're getting a light blue read on the weekly jewel and also a green brat background, which is a God mode signal. Now, that's not a signal in and of itself. And to be fair, this is the first time we've ever seen this on, on this time frame, like ever. This is on the index going all the way back to the, you know, to the genesis of, uh, of the start. So um, what do I make out of that? Well, as always, I like to back test my signals so that I have some, some sort of statistics that, to go alongside of them. In this case, we don't really have that. But generally speaking, on lower time frames where we have this sort of signal going on right here and many iterations of them, you know, in like a fucking four hour or even a daily, for example, typically going to be a good, pretty good sign that, uh, you know, we're probably looking for a greater bounce at minimum um, uh, rather than continuation. Anyways, I also wanted to point out a few other things here before I let you go on your very merry way. Funding rates, more or less uh, zero, but yeah, they're slightly positive right now. So again, kind of helping out with, I guess, uh, you know, very, very short term uh, downside buys. And then of course, a global open interest. I, I, I put a lot of weight on this one as well, right? here um you know i've gotten a lot of shit for it too which is like weird but uh it's actually worked phenomenally well which is like well fair enough i guess i'll just i'll fair enough <laughs> you know and, and what do we see right here we saw a bit of a reset all the way down to uh basically seven billion actually a little bit below seven billion i do think we're going to see another uh kind of reset somewhere between about seven and a half to seven billion or so and that's probably going to be the next sort of major low before the next rally Again, I'm not calling a macro low. This is not a macro. There, I have no indications of macro lows in just yet. Um, uh, I just have indications of, you know, a likely major, major bouncy region um, to kind of uh, pivot off of and then maybe fall down more later or maybe put it, maybe, maybe take off some macro signals uh, later. But for right now, they are not present as far as I'm concerned. And we are coming to the end of the month right here. So things, you know, you know, could very easily change around rapidly into end of um, end of July. But uh, but ultimately for right now, you know, short term time frames is Bitcoin more or less likely to bounce. You know, we are getting getting some indications of bounce. So uh, I don't put too much weight on it coming into an event like the FOMC. I mean, obviously, that's going to uh, that's going to really drive price action. But, you know, if you do want a little bit of short term hopium, 20,800 is going to be the four hour pivot right here. We do see that the hourly is going to be uh, pivoted up above 21,190, which Bitcoin's actually literally just at right now. So fair enough. Six hour is also going to be popping up above 21,100. And uh, so, yeah, the low and medium term time frames, you know, a little bit of sideways, a little bit of a try towards an upside move, maybe 21.5, 21.6 or so. Uh, but anything below 22.5 is uh, just another lower high before. Well, I'm probably just getting ready for um, some sort of uh, some sort of action coming into the end of the week here. So without, uh, yeah, I, th I think that's a good place to leave this one off. I'll once again chill good old Bybit. Bybit's got their, uh, yeah, they got their promotion going on for actually just a couple more days until the end of the month here, where basically if you use the link in the description below, then you will get a, uh, a or you won't pay any fees and you won't pay any fees on your market orders. So make it, uh, sorry. <laughs> No, you will pay fees on your market orders. Jesus Christ, man. Your maker orders, you will not. Oh, man. I'm just all over the place today. Um, but uh, but basically, if you put in a limit order and you don't get filled at market price, then yeah, you get uh, you know you 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 won't pay a fee on that. Um, so if you do click the link and actually sign up with that with, with that one, um, then I think you get 30 days of that. But the promotion itself runs out at the end of this month. Um, but I should probably double check on that. So yeah, just kind of wrapping things up here. Short term, bit of sideways, maybe maybe another try for a bit of a short term bounce, completely fine. Um, but I suspect that uh, things are kind of waiting around for today's event a little bit later, and uh, we probably get some wicked action maybe as low as 20,000 and uh, and as high as you know 21 and a half to 22 um, but uh, but again any sort of failure to break ab uh, above or below those boundaries just you know more or less the same and uh, you know I do still think that Bitcoin's more or less setting in a uh, weekly base here 
All right, cool. Yeah, looks like Bitcoin's rally right now. Holy fucking moly. Let's let's get this baby all the way up to 21.5. All right, cool. I'll be signing off with on that note. Take care, much love, and see you hopefully soon.